Nobel Prize winning physicist Wolfgang Pauli was preoccupied with the number 137. More specifically, 1 over 137, or what he termed the fine structure constant. So consumed was Pauli by this calculation's perfect outcome. When he died, the synchronistic fine structures of the universe arranged for him to do so in room 137 of the hospital, something not lost on him in his final hours. Synchronicities, as Pauli discovered, represent something. One professor, Professor Eaves of the University of Nottingham, suggests we would use 137 as a communication tool to signal advanced civilizations. Number, and its value is 1 over 137 to a very good approximation. And I think the fact that this, this number is independent of units, it makes it, a, it makes it a very fundamental number in science. And one in which as well, that if you decide to want to get in touch with some aliens on, on some distant planet uh, going around, uh, orbiting around a star, perhaps a bit like our, our own sun, it would be one of the numbers you would signal to these aliens if you, if, to indicate that we have a, a scientific and technologically capable civilization on this planet. Tom's series, Secret Machines, is titled such in part to denote not a hidden nature, but the Greek meaning of secretion, or to secrete, knowledge. Consider the following. While we here on Earth would send 1 over 137 as a representation that we have a degree of mathematical understanding as a communication vehicle, an advanced consciousness would use these secreting or secret machines to manipulate or more specifically align the fine structure constant around individuals. In doing so, they would help these individuals through synchronicities to fall awake to the phenomenon happening around them. Physicist F. David Peet explains it best. Synchronicities take the form of patterns that emerge by chance out of a general background of chance and contingency and hold a deep meaning for the person who experiences them. Often, these coincidences occur at critical points in a person's life and can be interpreted as containing the seeds of future growth. Synchronicities could, therefore, be said to involve the meaningful unfoldment of potential. Over time, Tom has realized that his entire life not only is, but has been deeply tied to something amazing through these synchronistic experiences. Here is Tom sharing candidly this new world, this new direction. Listen carefully, and you can hear Tom falling awake. It was the moment Tom began the adventure. Right now I'm happy and I'm doing this with friends of mine and, uh, and I get to do it at home and I get to be with my kid and my wife more and my dogs and uh, get to create something completely different that nobody including me completely knows what it's going to be like. So.